Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of DTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province recently launched a support project for socioeconomic minority groups, including seniors and individuals with disabilities, who produce items known in Korea as social value products. Officially referred to in Korean as Chak Chak Chak, this project is geared to help such business groups with the creation of profits and jobs through the provision of product quality control and promotion assistance. In a press conference held on July 22nd, Kyungi Province Welfare Bureau General Director Yi byung woo announced that the province will strengthen welfare policies for middle-aged individuals and become a reliable supporter of a healthy and happy second phase in their lives. Pursued under the official vision of vibrant, healthy and successful middle-aged lives, related initiatives include the operation of diverse facilities exclusively for the middle-aged and the provision of more than 3,600 new jobs, as well as mobile app-based care services. In the third general meeting of the 345th Extraordinary Session of the Kyungi Provincial Assembly, Assembly Member Park Gun Chal made his first address as floor leader of the Democratic Party and declared a Kyungi-centered era. He offered assurances that he would lead the arrival of the new era through communication and innovation. Expressing dissatisfaction with unfair treatment of Kyungi Province, despite its leading national status in terms of population and production, he emphasized the need for the opening of a Kyungi-centered era in line with the province's status. Kyungi Province recently announced plans to develop gypsy moth control methods that are eco-friendly and protect forest ecosystems. These methods include traps with eco-friendly lures for adult moths such as ultraviolet lights and pheromones, as well as glue-based traps installed between trees which have been proven effective. In addition, control efforts will also include the eradication of eggs so as to prevent the recurrence of infestations next year. On July 13th, a real-time online art show and auction took place as part of the 2020 Art Kyungi campaign, which is being pursued jointly by Kyungi Province and the Kyungi Cultural Foundation to promote the art market in the province. Organized in an online, untacked format during the COVID-19 pandemic, this online art show and auction showcased diverse works in visual mediums, including paintings, sculptures and photographs from 60 artists and 6 art dealers. This online event will run every other Monday from 9pm via YouTube until the end of the year. Since anyone can participate in the auction during the live streaming of the show, these events are expected to help promote art collection culture. Kyungi Province has been operating its Employment Bridge Program to promote vocational courses at universities. This program is receiving positive responses from students. Developed through the cooperation of universities and enterprises, these courses, which include customized curricula for existing jobs, help resolve employment mismatches between job searchers and employers. 학생 모집부터 전공 과정 개발, 운영, 현장 실습 등을 기업과 대학이 함께하는 산학 협력 사업입니다. 전공 과정 5개월, 현장 실습 5개월. 이후 치욕, 취업까지 연계하도록 하여 불필요한 스펙 쌓기 없이 기업 맞춤 고용 확대를 꾀하고 있습니다. Kyungi Province recently announced plans to construct long-term rental housing units for non-homeowners near subway stations in Phase 3 new towns. These housing units will be designed to serve anyone who does not own their own home. 
The province also plans to introduce social housing units that will be available at lower rental rates and with less complicated application criteria. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.